Welcome back to Americana Outdoors from the Rock Canyon Ranch. We're on the hunt for Dad with Smith & Wesson's Paul Pluff and Wade Middleton. Now the crew has located a big ram on the edge of a small canyon, and Paul is looking forward to demonstrating the accuracy and firepower of the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Performance Center rifle. Uh, but first, the hunters need to make their way across a couple of miles of rough terrain to set up the shot. When Paul first came down and said, hey, you know, I, I want to go all dead hunting, I've, I've always wanted to shoot a big all dead, I was all excited because I love to hunt all dead. And then he told me what he wanted to shoot that all dead with, and I was like, ooh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that because an all dead can flat out take some lead, but, you know, if Paul says that's the one we can take him with, I trust him because he's a great expert marksman and he knows what his firearms are going to do when he gets ready to pull the trigger. Typically, when hunting heavy-bodied species such as the Audad, hunters historically prefer a big caliber, such as the 270 or 300 Win Mag. But due to advancements in technology, smaller calibers such as the 223 are making inroads into big game hunting, and the M&P 15 has the accuracy to deliver it. I mean, it's uh, fairly light, so you can, you know, you can work your way through uh, some pretty heavy brush without, without it wearing you down. Uh, it's compact enough where you're not fighting some of that brush that we were going through yesterday. Uh, they're, they're actually very accurate. Um, not a lot of recoil, but you know, these days the technology uh, and ammo development uh, over the last four to five years has really come a long way. Uh, and it really is a viable round. It's something that people should seriously think about. I got to tell you, the uh, the best part of this was the stock. Uh, you know, after that, it kind of becomes anticlimactic. Uh, but the stock just really made it. What we had to do to get there, and just line up on on that on that rock ledge uh, on a different ridge from uh, that odd dad, uh, that was one of the most th thrilling things I've done. As we popped over that little rise, and, and man, I spotted him and, and started trying to show Paul where he was and everything. I mean, it, I, was, <laughs> I was pretty excited because, I mean, we had stalked for a considerable distance, and I mean, we were in prime position. I mean, we had a legitimate chance now to pop this big Audad. And then when that thing turned and Paul got his first look, and I, I knew what was going through his mind because I was excited. I knew his heart rate had to get jacked up, and he was immediately all business from that point on. As I kind of got down there and got locked in my position and got a good shooting position, um, I was staring at him through the scope, and he was staring straight back at me. He felt no threat at all uh, at that point in time. Under normal circumstances, he didn't have a threat. Uh, and we were still a good 180, 200 yards out from a distance standpoint, out on the far ridge on, a, on another rock ledge, uh, opposing him, so he just sat there and he was kind of staring us down, feeling pretty comfortable. We sat there for a good six to 10 minutes, um, just staring at him as he was staring back. Like I said, it was a standoff at that point in time, waiting for somebody to flinch. Uh, I seen his head dip down a little bit and I knew he was gonna make a move. He actually, when his head dipped down, he kind of turned away from me a little bit, so I knew that he had enough staring at us and it was just waiting for that moment. And, a few seconds later, he turned broadside uh, to actually move off that ledge, and that's when we took the shot. When Paul took that shot and the, and the, the elevator floor dropped out from under that odd dad, I mean, <laughs> I was in awe. That shot, um, I was pretty excited about it because I took, I took that shot on an animal that's pretty tough to kill. I was hunting with a 223 round, which is pretty small, uh, and as you see on the video, uh, it had no problem with this one, and it went straight down. A few tense moments there. Got him glassed. He was out there about 180 yards, uh, although he uh, he was turned straight at us. There was, really wasn't a shot, so we had to wait for the shot. And when he finally turned, uh, we just did a nice slow trigger squeeze, and boy, it hit him hard. He just it just rolled him right over. So I think it was a pretty clean shot. I was pretty happy with it.
Well, now while Wade stays up high to keep an eye on the animal's position, Paul carefully makes his way down the steep slopes. He's confident the Audad won't get up. There was a lot of firepower packed into that little round. That particular round that I was shooting, it was a 79 grain uh, DRT round. Uh, and DRT is Dynamics Research Technology. And it's basically a compressed powder uh, uh, that is actually has a, jack, uh, uh, a uh, copper jacket over it. Uh, and what happens with that thing, I mean, you can drill through solid bone with it, but as soon as it gets into soft tissue, that jacket peels off and all that compressed powder kind of expands and explodes. Uh, and kind of sends a shock wave through the, uh, through the animal and it, uh, it kills it pretty quick. Oh yeah, he's done. He is, he is done. Oh, this is a nice one too. Look at that, that's where. Oh, look at this. I tell you what, this is a nice, nice odd oh, dad. Whew, what a thrill, my God. It's exciting. <laughs> you gotta love it. Rock Canyon Ranch offers a variety of hunts to suit your style, ability, and desired species. For information on booking a year-round exotic or in-season whitetail hunt, give Ray Hanselman a call at 830-317-9942 or look him up online at huntrcr.com.